Welcome to module two. This module is called New Age Marketing, where I discuss the new rules about marketing your mortgage business in this new economy we're in. In this module, you'll discover how to overcome the skepticism of clients and make them your clients for life. I'll show you why learning everything through trial and error will leave you discouraged and penniless. I'll talk about the new definition of marketing that is likely costing you thousands of dollars if you don't know it. And I'll also go over the secret to guaranteeing that you have prospects beating a path to your door. And I'll show you how much profit each client will bring into your mortgage business when done correctly. See, unless you've been living under a rock, you've noticed that getting mortgage leads is harder than ever before. But have you also noticed that prospects are more skeptical of loan officers and that they're leery about filling out applications and submitting their loan documentation on time? And have you also noticed that ads and promotions that you used to run in the good old days don't do much of anything now, and it's costing you more and more just to break even when you do pay for advertising and you feel lucky for having even that, and that your clients are wanting you to do more work for lower and lower origination fees. See, long story short, it's tough out here right now. But the real question is why is it so hard now than it has been in the past? Well, it's likely because you're probably violating one of the new rules of running your mortgage business in this new economy. And what exactly are these new rules you're asking? Well, let's get into them. Number one, the prospects do not want to be sold on a mortgage program or a product ever. See, you need to stop being a mortgage salesperson and become a mortgage marketer. See, salespeople sell clients what they have. Marketers make sure that they have what clients want to buy. So if your advertising looks like an ad, prospects will likely tune it right out because they only care about what's important to them. They don't really care about who you are as a person. So you need to make your ads look less like ads and only focus on what your prospects want. New rule number two, the client really has the only vote that counts, period. See, one of the biggest marketing mistakes that loan officers make is not understanding and addressing their client's needs. Most loan officers never ask their clients for feedback about what they did or didn't like about their loan process. And the biggest breakthroughs in your mortgage business usually will come from your clients. But in order to get that information, you must get the information like what motivated the prospects to work with you or what's most important to them about buying or refinancing their mortgage. And do they even want the lowest rate or the longest or shortest terms on paying it off or some combination of both? New rule number three, you must test everything in your mortgage business in order to improve it, okay? So instead of guessing, test it out in the ad or on a client and get their feedback first. And don't underestimate how powerful this is. You must test every component of your marketing pieces. If they don't at least pay for themselves, stop doing it. And the only way to test something is to require the prospect to take a specific action upon seeing the ad that you're running. This is called direct response advertising because it allows you to measure and track the effectiveness of all your marketing. New rule number four, prospects need a unique, persuasive, and compelling reason to choose you as their loan officer. Every client always wants to know what's in it for them if they work for you. So don't waste your time with the normal self-promotional and bragging image advertising. Your marketing message must be specific to your prospect's needs, wants, and problems. So you need a unique selling proposition, a USP in other words, that tells clients exactly why they should choose you as their loan officer. New rule number five, if you try to be an expert on everything, you hinder your effectiveness in everything. See, you must pick a specific type of prospect or mortgage program that you want to target and then tailor all of your advertising to that prospect or program. In your mortgage business, marketing, you should never try to list everything you could do. Pick one. And you're not trying to attract every single person who is looking to buy or refinance a home. Your ads need to be specific and compelling to draw the specific type of prospect that you can actually help. New rule number six. It must be fun and easy for prospects to do business with you. Don't be complicated and difficult because if prospects have to do too much work, They won't stick around and give you another shot afterwards. And for most people, calling your office to have to speak to a salesperson is not fun or easy. So use pre-recorded messages or landing pages, also known as mini websites, detailing loan program information. 
You need to focus on being inviting, non-threatening, educational, informative, and inspiring to do business with. New rule number seven, you must take scheduled time away from your mortgage business to improve and implement the things that are important to your clients. In order for you to view your business from your client's perspective, you must take time to work on your business from the outside looking in. Because your mortgage business is not your life. Your business and your life are completely separate things. So the key is to step outside your own shoes and begin to come up with ways to systemize your standards. Because your mortgage business should serve you and your goals. New rule number eight, you can't do everything all by yourself because it dramatically limits what you're able to accomplish. If it's only you, then when you run out of time, money, energy, ideas, etc., then there's nothing else left. Don't fall into the trap of working harder, but getting less and less results. For example, do you close 17 times more deals if you work 17 more hours? The answer is obviously no. You must leverage your marketing, the people around you, your processors, your teammates, and technology to help you make dramatic increases towards your goals and results. New rule number nine, stop reinventing the wheel every single time because of a lack of effective systems. Systems working together create a predictable, consistent, and highly successful mortgage business. And if your mortgage business is not built on systems, then all you really have is a job that requires you to start over every single day. You need a system for first, attracting prospects, secondly, converting those into appointments, third, converting the appointments into clients, fourth, providing clients with superior service, and then fifth, transforming one-time clients into lifetime clients. See, you're in a very different mortgage market than five, 10, or even 20 years ago. And that means it's time to do things very different in this new mortgage market. This is all about new beginnings, new marketing strategies, new overall business focus, new direction for your mortgage business if needed, new energy from your support team and loan team, and then a new outlook on your marketplace overall. And then new staff if needed. You have to be willing to make those changes. This is about building new business habits. You want to learn from your competitors' success and failures. You want to always, always, always ask and listen to your clients and prospects. And you should take the best ideas from other different industries and apply them to your mortgage business because you need to have the ability and desire to change quickly in response to market opportunities and changes. So let me ask you a question. Why are you in the mortgage business? See, the purpose of any business is not to provide jobs for the public. The first responsibility of any business is to make its owners and investors rich. So you need to acknowledge that the markets change. The goals and desires of home buyers and refinancing homeowners have changed and the economy has changed. So the only real question is, why haven't you changed your marketing, advertising, and business systems? See, in the good old days, it was all about making tons of mind-numbing phone calls, working with clients you don't like because you have to, or living with your cell phone glued to the side of your head for fear of missing a lead, or becoming a slave to every poorly qualified prospect who doesn't value you or your time, or even wasting tons of money on image ads that brag about how great you are, but don't say anything about what you can do to help the prospect. But in this day and time, you need to focus on not having to chase the prospects or people around. You need to compel prospects to call you using emotional direct response advertising. And you need to use technology to sift, sort, and screen your leads to only work with only the hottest leads. And only working with prospects who value you and your services and will work with you under your terms. Because you need to enjoy what you're doing because you're having fun helping qualified clients buy a home or refinance their current home. But let's go deeper. See, what's the one thing that will determine whether or not your mortgage business succeeds or fails? Is it your loan programs, having the lowest rates, being focused on clients, or having a great staff and support team, or the lowest closing fees, or even the best scripts when you leads call in? If you answered any of those, you'd be wrong. See, it's your ability to consistently find prospects who are willing, ready, and able to buy a home or refinance a mortgage. That is the number one determinant of your mortgage business success. In other words, it's marketing. The sooner you become the marketer of your mortgage business instead of the doer of your mortgage business, the faster your income and mortgage business will grow. So let's talk about this new definition of marketing. 
Marketing is anything that you would do or can do to get clients and to keep those clients. See, everything is marketing and marketing is everything to your success. Display ads, newsletters, websites, any type of packages, brochures, yellow page ads, scripts, classified ads, your business cards, signs, loyalty programs, anything to do with interactions with clients and prospects is marketing. See, when you realize that everything in your business is marketing, your mortgage business begins to look totally different to you. You see obvious mistakes when you consider how your clients or prospects might view situations, events, or even documents. You also will begin to see a ton of opportunities for improvement or chances for extra deals. However, all marketing strategies that you implement in your business must be held accountable to producing profits and commissions. You must know the effectiveness of each ad, letter, email, flyer, postcard, voicemail, everything that you do, you must know the effectiveness of it because your marketing must be a system that's predictable and able to be duplicated in your system. And every dollar that you spend must come back to your bank account with at least five new dollars to join him. When done correctly, there is no better investment in your mortgage business than marketing. Everything else is just a cost, pure and simple because you must know your return on investment at all times. But how, you ask? Well, the answer is direct response marketing. Direct response marketing is marketing designed to generate an immediate response where each response can be tracked, measured, and attributed to individual advertisements. See, direct response marketing is personal, specific, clear, and simple. And it makes it easy to use multi-step marketing to answer questions and overcome objections through marketing. And it's two-way, meaning it gets the word back to you about the effectiveness of the marketing strategy. And ultimately, it results in a long-term relationship with your clients because you're connecting to their very reason why they respond to your ad. And it's easy to know and track your return on investment when you use direct response marketing because it allows you to know exactly what the value of a lead and client is. There are three types of direct response marketing that when done correctly, have the potential to generate more than enough leads for you to achieve your income goals. First, there's the classified ad marketing. Secondly, there's editorial style marketing. And then third, there's unique sales proposition based marketing. So let's go through each. The classified ad marketing is the old fashioned ad that you see in the classified section of newspapers. It's inexpensive so you can get started for dirt cheap. However, because it's so cheap, every other loan officer will be doing it. So you must be very specific about what it's offering because of the limited amount of space. And the most effective classified ads target geographical areas, unique type of property, or a specific type of prospect. For example, this would be a classified ad that promotes a down payment assistance program. Next, there's the editorial style ad. This is an ad that is designed and written to appear more like an article that would appear naturally in the publication. The headline speaks to a specific type of prospect and draws them into reading the article or the sales copy. And the ad is written to fuel the desire of the prospect to know more about what was written in the ad. And at the end of the ad, there's a call to action that rewards the reader for taking a specific action. Here's an example. That's all about getting home sellers to get their asking price for their home. Next, there's the USP focused ad. These type of ads are designed to promise a huge benefit in the headline that clearly lets a prospect know why they should hire you. This type of ad can stand alone with its promise or be combined with any other type of direct response marketing. The real power of USP focused ads are the ability to promise to give a prospect exactly what's important to them. Something like this, where we guarantee to close your home loan in 60 days or less, or we'll do it for free. See, number one, you want to start by understanding the benefits that your prospect wants and offer that to them in your ads. You need to then quickly communicate these benefits in an attention-grabbing, compelling, and motivated manner. You need to make an offer that has universal appeal to your defined target market. And you need to make a soft offer that is non-threatening for prospects to respond to, and then lastly, make it easy and non-threatening for prospects to get further information and to leave their name and address and even email address and phone number to call back. And then you need to implement tracking mechanisms in your ad that you can test while tracking. The direct response ad starts with an attention-grabbing headline that makes a bold and simple to understand claim or promise. 
the headline qualifies who the remainder of the message and ad is written for. And it has one clear and simple goal, which is to get the prospect to contact you for what you're promising to give them. While presenting a clear call to action, something like call this number or go to this website or even mail to this address or bring this coupon in on this date, etc. Direct response marketing allows you to know the true value and worth of each and every client. But most loan officers don't have a clue about the lifetime value of their clients. So what is the lifetime value of clients and what's it all about? Well, the lifetime value is how much revenue or commission a client will generate during their lifetime of working with you on their loans. And by focusing on lifetime value, a loan officer gets a much more realistic picture of the value of keeping their clients loyal. So there are questions you need answers to. Questions like, what's the average amount of your origination fees from each closing? Secondly, how often do they purchase another home or refinance their existing home? So if you don't know the answer to those questions, then you are at a huge disadvantage. See, if on average, every deal you close generates $7,500 in commissions over the course of their lifetime with you, then how many clients would you try to get in your sales and marketing funnels? How much would you be willing to invest on marketing to get one client if each client was worth $7,500 to you? See, when you know the lifetime value of each client, it starts to make sense to consistently run all the marketing strategies that you can afford because you know that, that each one represents thousands of dollars in revenue to you in the long term. And the real power and breakthrough in your mortgage business will occur when you harness the knowledge of your lifetime value of your clients and use it to implement direct response marketing in all your advertising. So in this module, we talked about how you never can forget the new rules about getting clients for your mortgage business in this day and time and how every contact or exposure with a prospect or existing client has the potential to be marketing and how you only need to use direct response marketing in your lead generation campaigns because you want to get a client today to have a client for life. And then you need to know how to calculate the lifetime value of your clients because that will dictate how much you spend in marketing to get each one of your closed loans.